your goal is a collection of transcripts and notes from months of prisoner interrogations. The information is stored on a military-grade laptop kept in the main holding area downstairs. What's happening? You'll be looking for some kind of security terminal. Security terminals. Look around. Enforcements incoming. You are watching Random Place, this is Radio Gamer, back on track, loud and clear. Today we will go focus on another tank build. It is merely for support, but this build will surely make a difference in your team. Good thing about this build is that you can make sure of a shared bonus armor in your team for every 15 to 25 second interval. And you can have two different ways in sharing that bonus armor. Plus take note, you'll be sharing at least 40 up to 50% at most every interval. On this build, you will just have 1.5 million armor as a tank, but you will be alternately sharing, take note of that, alternately sharing 600,000 and 750,000 bonus armor or even fuse them both. So around 1.4 million bonus armor and it can easily be done simultaneously. Having thoughts on how to get that bonus armor? So just to get the hang of it, let's get started. Of course, with the specialization, first thing that will come handy with this gunner is with the emplacement talent, which is 10% weapon handling while not moving. This will be totally helpful since we will be using the Liberty Pistol as our main weapon. Next thing is the Incessant, which will be giving us 10% armor on kill, and this is on level 3. 
and of course the main highlight which is the Banshee Pulse which confuses the enemy caught in the wave. So next thing that we will be using is the microwave amplifier. This is a mod slot and the directional transmitter which is also a mod slot to increase the effectivity of our Banshee Pulse. For the weapons, we won't be using as much as of our primary weapon or even the secondary weapon. Our main here will be the Liberty Pistol in which I have 14% pistol damage and 10% damage to target out of cover. It has the talent called Liberty or Death, hits grant 2% weapon damage, stacks up to 30 times. This is totally effective in tank builds since we will be using a shield. And headshots consume all stacks, repairing your shield for 3% per stack. For the gears, in my case, in this setup, I only have 1.5 million armor, four of which are almost in full scale armor, and the other two pieces are in skill tier. Let's now proceed with the brand sets. I do have two pieces coming from Golan, which is the mask and the backpack. That will be giving 10% status effects and 1% armor regeneration. That armor regeneration is around 20,000 armor regen. For the chest, we do have the Gilagard. It is a named item called Point Man, and we will be having 5% total armor. For the gloves, we'll have a Sokol of named item. This is Firm Handshake. We won't be taking advantage of the 10% SMG damage but because of the 15% status effects. Last two pieces will be coming from the hardware, gear set for holster and d-pads for 15% skill haste. So we'll figure out later on why hardware has been included on the build. Before that, we shall discuss the chest talent. Again, this is point man with the perfect vanguard. It is one of the two different ways on our bonus armor spam. Deploying a shield gives 50% bonus armor to your teammates for 20 seconds. Cooldown, 25 seconds. Next is the backpack talent called Galvanize, in which applying a status effect, namely Blind and Snare, Shock, or in our case, it is Confuse, which grants 40% bonus armor to allies within 20 meters of the status affected targets. Highlighting the attributes aside from the two hardware gear pieces, the other gears shall be recalibrated for 10% status effects. Together with these are the yellow mod slots that will go for the skill haste. Now for the chest, we will be having a blue one. This isn't relevant, but I have 9.7 disrupt resistance. Now we do have to include the hardware in our build because we want to stack skill haste. As you can see, we do have 15% skill haste for the two pieces and recalibrating each of the two hardware gear pieces, we will be having another 12%. And in total, just for the hardware, we will be having 39% skill haste. But in our overall stats, as you can see, we will be having 92.3 skill haste. The reason for this is to lower our Bunchy Pulse cooldown, which is now for 15.6 seconds, but that is originally for 30 seconds. We are in two skill tier, thus we will be having additional 20% cone size and 20% confused duration. Just a reminder, you have to equip the 15% radius and the 15% effect duration coming from the gunner specialization mods. On the other hand, the accumulated Status effects will give us 8.4 seconds confused duration. Well, skills as obvious as it could be, we are using this Banshee Pulse. And for the other one, since our main weapon is the Liberty Pistol, we went for the Bulwark for full cover as a tank. And the good thing about this is we can have the enemy face on and as we go up front, we can use the Banshee Pulse as the shield is deployed. Still, we arrive at tier 6. 2 yellows and 4 blue. Lastly, as usual, I'll be showing the overall preview of our stats. That's it for the video. If you like it, please give a thumbs up and please do subscribe to my channel. I will really appreciate it for more upcoming Division 2 videos. Once again, you are watching Random Plays. This is Radio Gamer. Over now.